Yeah. Number nine, please, Mr Speaker. With permission, Mr Speaker, I will answer questions 9 and 15 together. In December, I announced a further 239 schools that will benefit from large-scale rebuilding and refurbishment projects as part of our school rebuilding programme, which will transform 500 schools across the country. I saw the huge impacts our investments have in at Cowden Court School, where I met Mr Heal, a head teacher, and his students that were very excited at the prospect of their new classrooms and design and tech and science labs. Mr Speaker, as Conservatives, we're not only investing in the next generation future, but of that of generations to come. On top of this, we have allocated over £13 billion to improve in school buildings since 2015, including £1.8 billion this year. Thank you. I welcome the recent addition of the King Edward VII Academy to the rebuilding programme, following the inclusion of Smithton High School in an earlier round and the new investment that is coming to North West Norfolk. However, can my honourable friend, right honourable friend, assure me that given Smithton's Grade 2 star listed status and the complexity that that brings, that the funding for that school is protected and will ministers meet me to ensure that we get the heritage and other permissions we need as rapidly as possible? I thank my honourable friend for his question. My department is working closely with heritage and planning officers to ensure that we can address the condition of Smithden High as quickly as possible, whilst recognising the listed uh, status of the buildings. We are working on the project with Historic England and the 20th Century Society, and would be very happy to provide the honourable member to meet with him and to provide an update on progress. Yeah, yeah. Mr Speaker, in Hamburn and Haslingden, we received the fantastic news just before Christmas that Hamburn Academy 